Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Creator Mobile Stunt Show set, and it's a three-in-one, so there are three official build options. I will show you all three of those in this one video, but I am going to start out with this main build here, the featured build, because it is, in my opinion, by far the most interesting, and it does use all of the pieces included in the set. The main truck here, the big one, the carrier, is built to a compatible scale with the big truck from the fairground mixer set, the, the previous creator set. You have an eight stud wide build for that tractor cab, a cab over design, and they use some of the, or a couple of the more recent uh, tile shapes on the front to good effect. The build of this is nice. Uh, it has a fair amount of studs on the side construction, but uh, I feel like everything comes together pretty well. I'm happy with how all the, the parts and all the different shapes come together. There's a little bit of offset with the steps which uh, up to the cab, which I think is actually nice. I don't know, I, I like that little bit of extra texture. Of course, there are no stickers in a creator set, uh, at least not the regular creator sets these days. So those are just prints, and those are parts that we've had around for quite a while. It is a sleeper cab, and I'll show you the interior a uh, little bit later on. But first, I want to get to the stuff back here i will show you the monster truck that it's carrying separately as needs to be done but i want to show you how all of this stuff back here transforms how this really becomes a stunt show it's not just a a truck that's carrying a monster truck out to a show this actually is part of of the the ride if you will, or part of the attraction so stuff that comes off these wheel chocks just move out of the way you can use them for something else if you want there actually is a, a good use for them this is going to be a base for a floodlight stand and this is a bank of lights here and the stand you get these trusses that that can be actually i think it should be set right there yeah there we go a little bit of kind of tripod action with that and there's another one on the other side right there pull that out still looks like a truck though it's not like we're disassembling the the truck itself you know the core part of it to create something new and wow those lights just stand way up <laughs> way up there they're so tall but the stand is stable enough if you want to make it uh, more stable instead of using the little tripod down here you can actually use these down for its base but there's more here of course this tailgate section well first of all I should point out that you can use that to offload the monster truck so this can just fold out and the monster truck has you know large enough tires that it's able to go over this little end bit here okay uh, but it's not quite ideal like that however it's really designed to be its own attraction its own thing this has stands that come down they've got rubber bits at the end which will hold that in place there you go you have a ramp that can be used by the monster truck as part of the show as part of the stunt show but it definitely gets better than that because this also comes down so this can also be used for loading and offloading the the monster truck onto the carrier if you want you know bring it up to here put the wheel chalk the yellow wheel chocks in at that point you know you can have some Pretty realistic play with it in that sense but this is rolling back and forth that's not good no worries more wheel chocks these are ones that actually work with the carrier this time they've got the rubber kind of feet on there and you put those around front or rear tires I think the rear is actually if you put it under the front so it'll, it'll have to lift it up a little bit but now that holds itself in place relatively well and now this works as a proper ramp so you don't just get onto the bed, you actually jump all the way over the entire truck. And then if you want to, you can line up this as a, a landing ramp. It might, might not be at an ideal angle because it's, you know, it's a relatively shallow angle here, but that's it. That is the stunt show. Those are the components of the stunt show that you build from this truck. And I think it all works. It, you can play with it and I think it looks pretty good and certainly the build is enjoyable. It feels good to be able to put all this stuff together using just 
basically regular pieces and to have all these transforming features and to have it minifig compatible, this is pretty good. I said I was going to get back to the sleeper cab. All of this comes off, the entire roof just comes off as one assembly. It's fairly solid actually. And inside you do have room for two figures to sit there side by side. You've got a center armrest there or console. Uh, got a glass area underneath or acrylic, uh, but it's it's mostly just standing out. I think that was supposed to not really be, be visible there. It's just part of the structure. Of course, you have to have room for a coffee mug. It's good that they included that gear shift lever, just one single one. And there's the, the sleeper cab area back there with the, the bed. They've given it a little bit of decoration with the, the painting on the wall or photograph. And they also have a TV, flat screen TV. So you can watch some TV while you're getting ready to take some Z's or if you're just relaxing. So yeah, it, you know, it's got enough detail, maybe even a little bit more than it needs at a bare minimum. And then the monster truck is just a four stud wide build, which is very compatible in scale with some of the Lego City line monster trucks that have been made in recent years. Uh, you know, the, the tires are just outside the width of the body, which looks fine. It has some, some kind of frame detailing and or shock detailing. You've got the very large exhausts on the side which are intended to spew flames they're supposed to be extra flashy and you got the, the flag on the back and the best thing about this to me is the working suspension it uses the white rubber band and only one of those but it works so well there's there's so much mechanical uh, mechanical advantage working against that that it's actually really soft and look at this you can you can feel the suspension side to side. It's four-wheel independent suspension in such a small space. That's that's really, really good. And the rubber band doesn't really stand out too much. I mean, yeah, you see it, but it's it's kind of nice and close in there. It doesn't clash with the colors. And it just feels good because you can really you know run over bumps and stuff, and you can just see that suspension action happening. If you run over rough terrain, you know, a kid can just hold this and just watch that happen. That's exactly what I want to see with suspension in a toy or in a, a model of any sort. If it's going to work, you know, let it actually work. Let it be soft enough. And this holds the holds the whole thing up. There's maybe a little bit of droop in the in the front, just a little bit, which is cool. It's just pretty pretty perfect how that's set up. Actually, I'm a big fan of suspension especially in in toys and models and this is just it's just as close as you can get to perfect and it doesn't use any really specialized pieces or anything so i'm i'm really happy that lego has done that inside you know steering wheel that's pretty much it room for a single figure to sit in there and that's all you need the set comes with just two mini figures i would love to have seen three figures for a set of this size with this many pieces but this is fine. Uh, it's it's appropriate. You know, you can put both figures in the cab side by side of the the, the carrier. You know, and that works out just fine. Have one be the driver of the big truck, <laughs> one be the driver of the other big truck, and yeah, it just it just works. And I think these figures are appropriate for for what they are. I, I like the kind of mix between driver and mechanic for the guy on the right, so he can be doing both uh, you know taking both roles uh, I only wish there was a hairpiece included for the driver of the monster truck as well uh, you know preferably something short you know short haired so you could actually swap the heads back and forth between them have them you know swap their their roles who's driving what but yeah that one piece just one hair piece would have made this even more playable more customizable so let's look at one of the other official build options. As always, you can only build one of the official build options at a time with the pieces from a single set. So you can't have these and the two trucks at the same time. But this gives us two dragsters and a finish line for a drag strip. And I really like this, this alternate build 
because it, it is very different and yet it still stays with the racing theme or the motorsports theme and these these two vehicles look like they would race against each other they look like they are from the same class from the same basic uh, you know rule set and yet they are distinctly different a lot of things are different between the two ultimately they're made from spare parts you know they're made from random parts from a set that was designed to be a hauler and a monster truck and I appreciate how far away from that they went and yet how complete these two look so you get you know different canopy styles or you know cockpit styles different engine styles completely they tried to use many of the little detail pieces as they could back there and they did it uh, this one on the left uses the white wheels the one in, you know, in the background uses the gray wheels the one in the background has more of a, a smooth finish on the top but it has the narrower windscreen this one is a little bit rougher on the outside has a little bit of texture it has the wider windscreen it just completely works and reminds me of, of you know, how how you see actual differences and have seen actual differences in dragsters that are competitive with each other in real life you can bring the wing all the way down like this if you want and that works for both of them you can bring it up like this if you just want it to be higher up and then you can also mess with the angle you know that's just good for imaginative play put that wherever you want just imagine you know adjusting the aerodynamics and the downforce and yeah this just works the only thing that doesn't work here is with the figures and unfortunately you know i said i wish there was just one more piece included in the set one hair piece well now i wish there was one hair piece plus another helmet and visor so three pieces in total because then these two uh, two figures could safely race against each other as it is one of them has to have a cap and that's not safe these things look like they're going to be really really fast so yeah i do wish there now were three additional pieces so you can have two other options for uh, for setting up the the heads the head coverage for the the figures and that would have helped with both of these builds the main one and the secondary one though uh, just really fun uh, a really nice reuse of those parts and uh, yeah I, I like it let's check out the final build now you know how I said I wish there were just three more pieces in this set no I'm, I'm kidding I'm, I'm kidding <laughs> don't need any more pieces now this final alter alternate build gives us a classic tow truck kind of reminds me of uh, I want to say a mid to late 1950s Chevy I think the tow truck and then a hot rod okay again sticking with the motorsports theme i think that the figures work perfectly fine with this build actually probably even best with this build better than with the other options and you know each of these looks a little bit blocky a little bit random a little bit uh old school but you do have to keep in mind that these you know, this is a a tertiary build you know this is not even an alternate build this is an alternate alternate build and given that, and given the parts constraints, I think that the designer has once again done a very good job here. Uh, uh, I, I think this is a good set of builds. These are worthy things. I think they give good, uh, good suggestions to kids of, of just how much you can change up your own set by you know, using pieces in different ways. I think taking the top off of that makes it into an awesome looking little roadster. It's got the big inlet on the front. I think I might even like it better as a roadster. And I'm not a, a top-down kind of guy. I usually like you know, hard hard roofs, but uh, yeah, that actually kind of works for me. And then the tow truck actually has some some moving parts, as you can pretty clearly see back here. This works pretty well. You can bring this up like so, and then just bring all that down there. That's that's nice movement, right? there brings it right down to the ground and then you can kind of tow this with it so the towing action isn't that great honestly kind of wants to come down to the ground scrape just a little bit right there it's not not the worst thing but it, it works well enough it doesn't turn very well you can't can't win them all but the the basic idea is there i think with a little bit more modification something done to the underside of this I think it could be made to work even a little bit better still but 
you know, just having that kind of technic mechanism in there in this build, I think is, is a really good thing. And I think the truck is off to a good start towards being a good looking build as it is right now. Like I said, of course it is a bit blocky, especially around the, the fenders and you get, you know, a lot of studs on the outside, but the designer again made good use of studs on the side construction to try to use up those pieces and try to make this as complete as reasonably possible. So I, I applaud the effort. There you got your single seat for a figure, just one figure. And I think it's good. I like the little overhang also of the front of the roof there. Got the side view mirrors sticking up. No working suspension on this one, but I'm okay with that. Uh, that was a good use of the, the five-sided tile piece there. Got the control over here for the boom. Yeah, this is pretty good. Not the greatest looking thing, but a good build. Uh, if you tried to do that from scratch, not having seen this, just thinking, okay, I'm gonna make a tow truck from the parts in this set. Guarantee you would realize just how difficult this is and that would give you even more appreciation for the designer's work here. And this looks good as well. Could use a little bit more detail, but again, parts limitations. There's only so much you can do. I like the effort. I like what has been done here. And at the very least, it gives more ideas for just things that you can do with a pile of parts. So overall, this feels like a pretty successful, somewhat classic uh, Lego creator set. There's something that's a little bit old about it. And I guess it's just how plain a lot of these things look uh, nowadays you know lego has so much detail and so much texture in their builds uh, you know i think we we get spoiled or at least i get spoiled my eyes get spoiled but i think that all the the build work that goes on here is is very good it's a very wholesome building experience for each of the the options uh, as far as the value is concerned i'm glad that the price to part ratio for this is very good you know it, it's much better than, uh, than, it, than it could have been, certainly. Uh, they could have sold this at a $60 US price point, and that would have made sense on the price to part you know, ratio basis. But I'm glad that they didn't put it at 60 US, they put it at 50 US, because the amount of stuff, you know, that price to, to <laughs> price to volume of stuff ratio, the kind of subjective difficult, to quantify measure that I like to use uh, feels okay as it is. $50 for this much stuff of, of Lego feels okay. And then once you actually unfold all of that, then it makes a lot more sense. You know, you have to focus on this because it does use all the pieces. That doesn't use all the pieces. You know, that's not $50 worth of stuff. That's not $50 worth of stuff, but that just barely is. I would have preferred 45 just if I saw this, didn't know how many pieces it came with, and was asked to put a price tag on it, I would have said 45, but 50 is, is close enough. And when you get into the actual work that went into this and the actual experience you get from building any of these, or all of them, if you wanna go ahead and take it apart and you know redo each, uh, is, is very good and is very valuable in my opinion. So I think the value is there with this set, and certainly it was a good effort all around in terms of the design, I appreciate very much. And that's it for my thoughts about this one. And uh, that's it for my look at each of those build options. I hope I showed you everything you wanted to see here with each of these. I don't think I missed anything, but uh, I've got more work to do, so I'll be bringing you more videos very soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.